behalf of our selling agents, Crystal B oh, and yeah. Hilary yeah, Wang yeah. of the Harcourts <laughs> team here locally. Thank you so much for your attendance and we are looking forward to receiving your bids for this niche, this pocket-sized property, but it is one in which it is certainly large enough for you to really enjoy over the time, whether you are an owner-occupier or an indeed an investor. No doubt you've done your own sums as to where you feel this property's value sits. You know what? That's all been fed back to our seller here this afternoon, and they have set a reserve price well and truly in line with where you buyers see value. Best of luck in your deliberations. You'll certainly feel justifi justifiably proud once you've purchased this property. We are selling under Victorian auction conditions, which simply do state that the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of the auction. The auction rules prohibit the auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for the property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have a very realistic, a reasonable reserve price. And as the auctioneer, I will indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders and bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and does provide fines for this conduct. The rules permit vendor bids and the words that I will use during the call of the auction to indicate that I am making a vendor bid are vendor bid and by law only I as the auctioneer can make a vendor bid. Inside the unit, the home has been the contract of sale and section 32 vendor statement which has been on display for your perusal here this afternoon and throughout the course of the auction program. No doubt if you've read through it you would agree with me that it's a very easy document to understand and digest and that is the contract, the document in which once you have purchased this property here this afternoon that you'll then be immediately post auction hanging around and autographing, executing, signing off as the purchaser. Being that it is an auction, it is being sold unconditionally here this afternoon. The deposit is quite flexible. Anywhere from 5 to 10 per cent of the purchase price is the deposit. The settlement date is anywhere from 30 to 60 days from today's execution date. Anywhere in between there is fine. The property is being sold on an as-is, where-is basis with vacant possession. The section 32 that is attached to that contract to sale provides you all of the plans applicable to the property, all of the services that are connected and all of the outgoings that are in line with this property. So that is the contract neatly summarised for you and that is, as I said to you earlier, the document that once you have purchased this very neat property that you will be hanging around and actually signing off as the purchaser on a 192 square metre allotment. Very neat, very tidy, that really nice interface between the indoor and that lovely outdoor courtyard area. We are in a block of literally only four units in this very quiet street location here, but we are close to absolutely everything. We are flanked either side by Canterbury Road and Whitehorse Road. Mitchin, as you well and truly know, over the last several years has been the recipient of an upward surge of capital growth. And with all of the attributes that this, uh, uh, this uh, location has to offer, we are close to schools, uh, close to public transport, close to interlinking traffic routes, close to absolutely everything that you do desire in your residential location. But the main point here today is that we are in such an affordable price point. And you know what, whether the market is good, bad or indifferent, if interest rates are low, high or somewhere in the middle, if we are at a lower price point, the only way up is forward from there. And you know what, it is in such a good location that good real estate will always be in demand. As I said, no matter how good or bad or indifferent the market is. But as buyers, I am very much aware that not everyone can, uh, can purchase here this afternoon on an unconditional basis. We've got a lot of potential buyers who are hoping, really hoping, that it doesn't sell under the hammer here this afternoon. Bid away if you can bid on that unconditional basis. We've got such a keen reserve price, well and truly in line with where you have made offers and have seen value. You've seen it, you've loved it. Who'd like to own it here at number three at 10, Orient Avenue and Mitchum, an opening bid or an offer to start me away. What's it worth in your opinion? Let's see how we go. I won't call it a figure, I'll leave it yourselves. Maybe put some strategy into your bid. Always the hardest bit of the auction. No one likes to be the starter. Let's see how we go. I won't call out a figure. I'll leave it to yourselves. The old saying in real estate, to buy it, just need to put in a bid. Put in an offer. Let's see how we go. Here we go. 560. 560 is a start. Light and low. 560 could we say. I'll take a vendor bid of $560. Thousand dollars just to get away from that awkward bit of silence. Five sixty is a vendor bid, and let's move it up from there at five hundred and sixty. Can I see a bid? Five sixty. No. Okay. So vendor bid at five hundred and sixty. Just call it out if I can't quite hear or see you. Five sixty is the call at five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. How? 
For, pardon? 600. 600. Thank you, madam. It's at 600 now. At $600,000. 610. At 610, the call. At 600. Then 10. 6. 50. 650. 650. Strong bid. It's at 650. 660. 660. 680. 680. 690. 710. 710. 710,000 is your bid. We are selling it here this afternoon. Make no mistakes. It's 710,000. It's your bid, sir. 710's the call. Madam, come in on another bid. If you'd like to do so, it's there. It's at 710. Thousand dollars, seven tens the call in your favour. We are selling seven tens the bid at seven hundred and ten, sir. We look to you seven twenty. Could we say seven ten? It's in your favour, sir. You bid strong. You bid very hard. It's at seven hundred and ten thousand. It's there. It's in front, madam. It's against your bid, sir. Against your last one, principally five if you like at seven one five. It's at seven hundred and ten thousand dollars. We are selling seven twenty. Seven twenty's there, sir. Seven thirty. Thirty. 7.30 is the call. In your favour, sir. I look to you, sir. Five or ten if you like. It's up to you. We are selling it, as you well and truly know. Sir, you're in the driver's seat at this point in time. Looks like you hold the keys. 730000 Sir, would you like to take it away from him? It's up to you. 7.30 is the call. Selling it here this afternoon. 730000 Madam, have I got your best? Would you like to come back into the bidding? 7.30 is there with that gentleman. Against, principally against your last one, sir. On the market. I'll call it down. Three chances. One's gone. First time a call in your favour, yeah. sir. Number sure, five? 735. 735 is there. In your favour, 735. This is such good value here in Mitcham. Desirable location, neat property, affordable price point, low, low interest rates. Still, 735 into your favour on the other side of the street, against and against. Over there, 735, selling it. Need to know, in or out, call me back another bid if you'd like to do so. 735 is out there now, calling it. Once again, three chances, first time. 735, on the other side of the street. 740, against. 40's back in front. 40's there now. In your favour, sir. Against, principally there, against. 740s just behind me, to my left, to your right. 740s the bid. Wishing you the best, sir. Madam, come back in. Love to see you own it as well. But, sir, what about you as well? Love to see you own it, but there can only be one. It's up to the three of you. Who'd like to be the highest bidder? 740 is in your favour, sir. There, against and against. Once again, got to call it. Three chances. 740s the bid. Selling it. First time. In your favour, 740. Second time of call. Need to know, quickly now. Madam, need to know. Do I have your best? Would you like to put in another bid? 740's against. We're on the second call. About to sell on the third. You sure? Two? Two? Two and a half. Of course, 742 and a half. Thank you, sir. That's a very neat writing there, Thank you, Richard. 742 and a half thousand. It's in your favour, sir. Best of luck to you. Madam, would you like to come back in? Sir, again, we look to you. I'll give you the same amount of time to all bidders concerned here. 745. You sure? Yeah. One? 746. You never know when bidders had their last. All right. 745. Is there. I'll keep looking, sir, just in case. Madam, would you like to come back into the bidding? Three bidders with me thus far. As you know, it's on the market about to sell. 745 is that gentleman's bid right there against and against. 745, calling it. First time and selling. 745. Second time of call into your favour, sir, is the bid at 745,000, sir. Need to know. Third, final, done. Yes. Madam, 745, third and final. Sold to you, sir. Well done, congratulations. Well done. $745,000, a great result. Congratulations to our new owner on behalf of the team at Harcourt's Mitcham here locally. Thank you so much for your attendance. They would very much love to hear from you if you're thinking of selling. Thanks, everyone.